Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 576. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 575 to 578. Hey, we have break-even analysis here, and in this video we want to see how to make a chart that not only plots the uh, the X, the Y, the fixed costs, the total costs, the sales for break-even analysis, but we want to plot the exact point where it crosses, and we want that to move and have a label, right? So in some other videos, I've shown you how to do this with formulas to build this whole thing, or with uh, one variable data table, so you can search for uh, break-even analysis or fixed uh, variable cost analysis uh, and Excel and you'll find those videos. Alright, so um, we're going to start off by making a chart. The X is going to be our units. We're going to plot sales. We're also going to plot fixed, so I'm going to hold control and get total costs and uh, those values. The chart engine will know that the leftmost column is the X, and these other ones will have to be uh, plotted as Y's. Not only that, but if we have names at the top of each column, the legend will uh, know that this series of values should be labeled uh, with a label up here. All right, I'm going to go up to Insert, Charts, Scatter, and I'm going to pick, uh, say, that one. Alright, so there we go. I'm going to right click, format legend, or how about I click in control one, and I'm going to say at the top, we're actually going to add, remember the point of this video is we're going to add a, an exact point there that has a label up here. Alright, I'm going to do a few more things. These are dollars, so I'm going to click in control one, go to number, and maybe a currency with zero, and then I'm going to click close, so we got that. I'm going to go up to layout. I have this scrunched down data labels. Uh, I'm sorry, we want axis. I want to put in uh, the word units on the horizontal axis, so I'm going to say below. I'm just going to type units, enter. That's kind of unintuitive in charts. All right, so how do we get, oh, and we probably need a title up here too layout, uh, chart title, and I'm going to type uh, break even, enter. I'm going to change the font size on that. I don't want that so big. All right, so now how are we going to do that? And we want, we need this dynamic. We need a dot right there. I'm going to kind of pull this out of the way for a moment. And down here, let's think about this. Um, uh, what we really want always is a net income equal to zero. Now, uh, up here, this is governed, so if I type in uh, 33.52, I may not get exactly uh, zero, but for this chart, I want an approximate point on the chart, right? So for some values, it may not be exactly zero. Well, guess what? We can uh, use a lookup to find the closest thing, we'll use approximate lookup, it will find the closest things to zero, but then we, what do we need to plot? We would need to plot units and either sales or total cost, either one of these, because at that particular point they're, they're equal, right? So this is a lookup situation, we're looking up zero, but we need to look at something to the left. So we could do a couple of things, we could use index and match, which is what I'm going to use, you could also use lookup function but I'm going to use index and match. match. So equals index and the array, that, that's the value we want to return. So for our first, our x, right, this is the break-even x, I need to uh, return something from here, the units. Now again, this is a XY scatter, right? And these are lines. These have lots of points. We're plotting lots of points. But for the intersection, we're allowed to plot on this just a single point, and it will appear as a little dot. All right, so I'm going to uh, hit that. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it, comma, and the row number. Now it can change, right? So I'm going to use match. 
match will find the right row number. Right now the row number would be, there's zero, right? So it'd be six. So we would need to return a row number for index of six. Well, I'm always going to have match lookup zero. It'll find the closest match. The lookup array, well, that's going to be this range right here. And I'm going to hit F4 to lock it. And then comma, we want um, a one. If we leave it out, that's the default. That'll be our approximate. So I'm going to close parentheses and then close parentheses on the index and boom. So 250, it got it exactly right for this because we're looking up, uh, well, that's the right answer. All right, now I'm going to copy this over here. And now I'm just going to simply change the, the this is still correct because we still need to look up that zero, but it's just the uh, array of values to look up and return a value. I'm just going to click to the edge here and drag, right? So now I've done that. So now I have my two values. Now I can plot these. I'm going to highlight, actually uh, click on the chart, go up to design and select. I'm going to click Add. There's already three of them, Add. And it's quite polite. It gives us the series name. Um, we haven't done that yet, actually. I'm going to click Escape. Or maybe for right now, I'll just put uh, Break Even. And we'll come back to that in just a moment, because we'll make a dynamic formula also. Uh, series X, that's going to be this the Y value. I'm going to highlight that little array and delete it because it gets in the way and then click that. Click OK. Click OK. I'm going to come over here. Drag this over here so we can see it. Now I can't see where this is and in addition it's a line. I need to change that. Now I happen to get lucky and click on that but if you're not so lucky here's what you do. You click in in the middle of the chart and use your arrow keys. Your arrow keys will cycle, at least I thought, there there we go, I'm using the down arrow. The, the arrow keys will cycle through the chart elements. There's another way to do it too. You can go up to uh, somewhere up here, Format. There's You can select from this. I don't use the ribbons that often. But anyway, however you do it, I'm using my arrow keys. There, I got it. So now, I, if I want to right click because I want to change the chart type, I'm going to use the right click key, or you can right click. The right click key is between the window and control key. And I'm going to say chart, change chart type. It took the default of that, but I really want that one. And then click OK. Now it's got, um, oops, use my down arrow key, or my up arrow key. It's got an X there, and I don't want that. So I'm going to uh, control 1, because now I'm, I don't want to change chart type. I want to format, so control 1. I'm going to go to Marker Options, Built-in, and I'm going to select like that one. Maybe I want the size. I don't know how big. Yeah, that's that's too big. So I'm going to say 7 is fine. Marker Fill, I'm going to say Solid. I'm going to use Black. And then click uh, Close. All right, now one last thing. I would like a label. So I'm going to drag this out of the way. And now I'm going to say, do a text formula equals, in quotes, break even about, the reason why I'm using about is because when, when we don't have an exact match here, it, it'll, this will be a more exact. Uh, so in quotes, break even about, and double quote, ampersand to join, and right there, ampersand in uh, double quotes, space, and then units, right? And then enter. Now, we have a little label that's dynamic. So as if we were to change our inputs here, so now our label is dynamic, right? Not only that, but look here, what did it do? It's somewhere in between there. So it, it what uh, match did is it found the uh, first biggest value, just like VLOOKUP and MATCH would do, and then jump back to the next one. So it's an approximation, which is OK. It's it's somewhere near there. But now I want to uh, I want to link this. So I'm going to click on the chart. 
uh, click on design, click on select, and I want to take this one and edit it. And now I can simply uh, delete that and click on that right there. So now I have a, uh, maybe I should bring this to the front or something, control one. I don't really know how to do that. Someone will post a comment and then I'll make a, a new video, I guess. But it, nevertheless, now we have a kind of a dynamic chart. So however we, whatever we put in here, we change the fixed cost to uh, 10,000. And uh, it's dynamic. It's approximate, though. S 4,000. So now it's there. And then uh, the units will say, uh, Uh, the price will say uh, 45. So whatever we change it, it seems to be moving just fine. And we got a dynamic label. All right, um, break-even analysis, uh, plotting it and getting the approximate break-even point on the chart. All right, we'll see you next trick.